a very interesting um, occurrence is something called radiation pressure. And what this is, is basically the ability to exert pressure on something using radiation. So how is this possible? So I want you to imagine a little, you know, a light piece of a metal sheet over here or whatever. It doesn't have to be metal. Okay, and I simply illuminate it with radiation. So I've got a bunch of photons coming in from a, a source of light over here. And supposing there are no resistive forces, what you will observe is that this thing will start to move and start to accelerate to the right. Now, why this happens is very simple. Now, we have seen that photons do have momentum. H over lambda. We saw that using the Broglie's, uh, the Broglie's equation. And so, remember when a photon comes in, it might reflect, it might get absorbed, whatever, but it will experience a change in momentum like so. And so, if we remember Newton's second law, state that the force is equal to dp dt, or we can say the average force is the change in momentum over the change in t. And so if we break this down, the change in momentum, okay, if there are n photons coming in to this uh, metal sheet over here, and they all experience some change in momentum delta p, and this simply becomes the rate of electrons, sorry, the rate of photons incident on the sheet times the change in momentum that each of them experience. And of course, by Newton's third law, if this is the force experienced on the photons by the sheet, then the force on the sheet itself is equal and opposite to that. And so that will also be equal to NP over T times the change in momentum experienced by each photon.